Uh, yeah, a very good evening, everyone. Yeah. I hope everyone has done the homework. Last weekend, I have given you the homework for creating a dashboard. Uh, not dashboard, at least in a report view, I ask you to create that. Let's see how many of you have done today. Within five minutes, we'll start the session. Okay. Uh, hi guys, uh, we'll start the session then now. Uh, <clears throat> let me share my screen first. Yeah, hi, good evening everyone. Yeah. Let me share my screen. Is my screen is visible to you everyone? Is my screen is visible? Okay, all right guys. 
Okay. Uh, let me open the Power BI first. I hope everyone has installed Power BI. Uh, let me open it. Now, uh, this is the Power BI desktop. A quick recap, Power BI, what is Power BI, guys? That is a BI tool, that is business intelligence tool. Power BI is like that. If I need to give the introduction, how I will, will see that Power BI? We can see it here. Uh, okay. Power BI, Power BI desktop, data modeling, DAX, data visualization, da direct connectivity. This is the that Power BI, that is nothing but a BI tool, business intelligence tool. What do you understand by business intelligence? Business intelligence is nothing but uh, in order to analyze past and present data. And from that, we will take some decision that what is happening. Currently, I am in Bangalore. In Bangalore, the problem is that water scarcity problem is more in Bangalore. So if I need to give a presentation to the chief minister of Bangalore, so what I will do that I will use this BI tools, Power BI, Tableau, any one of these tools I will use. I will uh, use past data, present data. Based on that, I will create my uh, presentation, visualization, graphs I will create and give the presentation to the chief minister of Bangalore. From that, they will take the decision that how to overcome this water scarcity, exactly where the problem is going on, we can highlight it and explain them in a very short time uh, in an effective manner. That is the that is nothing but a BI tool, a BI, business intelligence. And uh, uh, these are the BI tools with us, uh, Power BI, Tableau, uh, these are the BI tools. And currently we are using Power BI is there. This part we have already done. Power BI desktop, Power BI service, how is that? Uh, already we are discussing about Power BI desktop. Uh, Power BI desktop and Power BI service. Power BI desktop is nothing but a desktop tool in which I need to download it and then we can use it. It is a basically a developer tool. And Power BI service is nothing but a cloud version. I need to, whatever the reports I have prepared in uh, Power BI desktop, that I need to be published in Power BI service. Okay, that is there. So we will see it one by one. So let me open it and let me click here on the reports and a quick uh, here, this is nothing but a Power BI desktop. Power BI desktop, if I will say that it having a three views, report view, table view and model view. Right now we are in the report view and here also we can say that filters, visualization and data. Right now this is there and I hope everyone has knows that how to uh, connect the data. If I need to upload the data over here, what I need to do guys? What I need to uh, do? If I need to uh, uh, connect the data, right now the data is there in Power BI desktop. Tell me. Right now, no data is there. So how I will connect with the data? I will go here in the get data option. In the get data, whatever is there, Excel workbook, then I will say that SQL server is like that. Whatever my data sources is there, I can connect with that. Let me uh, just right now, just click on this Excel workbook. And yeah, uh, right now I'm having sample superstore. I have already shared this file with you. This is the sample superstore. Excel uh, workbook is there. And yes, I have already explained in that sample superstore, three sheets are there, order sheet, people sheet, return sheet. I can load it. Suppose I will click it here on the order sheet. The preview is also uh, shows us that how my data will be look like. And then I will click on this load data option over here. Okay. So this part we have already seen in the last class. And I have told you to create a report. Uh, I have given you that uh, use the different charts over there and cre uh, create a report. Okay. So this is how my data is been 
uh, loaded right now in the order sheet. Suppose uh, in the company, what day is that directly they don't provide you the CSV file or Excel file. They don't provide you. Just a second, guys. Okay. But what will happen directly they don't provide you the Excel workbook or they, what they will say that, you know what, my data is stored in my database. Can you, uh, and they will give you the credentials of your database. From there, you need to load the data. So today I will show you how to connect with the different databases. Uh, uh, how many of you have the knowledge of database guys? Tell me, database. How many of you have knowledge about that? Okay, didn't know, didn't know. Oh, oh, very few is there. I know, ma'am. Okay, no idea. Okay, okay, fine. Database is nothing but where I can store my data. In right now, where there are various databases is there. And you, you need to learn that. Okay, guys. So, SQL Server Management Studio, Microsoft SQL Server is there. So, this is the database, guys. Please learn that subject also. That is also an important subject. So, if my database is nothing but a storage place where I, I can store my data. Okay. I can store a large amount of data and in a very uh, secured manner. I can say that. So, if, if the client will give me if the client will say that, you know what, my data is available in my database, from there you can load the data. So what the what in the company guys, usually directly they don't provide us the CSV file or Excel file, no, it won't happen. Like that credentials they will give, server name, like that credentials they will give to us. Huh? So this is the server name is there, let me do that, okay. Let me see that how I can connect with the, uh, SQL Server Database with Power BI. So what I will do, I will go here, get, get data option, and I will use here SQL Server. SQL Server option over here. And they will ask me the server name. What is the server name is there? So what I will do then, I will directly go here, and this is my server name. I will copy paste here. In the company, usually these things happen, guys. And here, let me put my server in the like that. Rest of the themes are optional. So let me click on the OK option. And these are the databases, guys. Uh, like that, what is that? You need to study SQL subject for that. Suppose I am uh, right now employee table. I want to load it employee table like that. This is the preview and I will say that load it. Yes. So one data I have loaded directly the order files, Excel file is available in my machine, but usually it won't happen. Company will say that this is the database guys. This is the database. In the database, usually my data is there. So you should know that how to connect, how to fetch the data from database to Power BI. So this is how I show you. For that, you need to learn uh, SQL also. It is easy only, guys. Not that much tough. Okay. Any, any now, till then, any questions from your end? Okay. My voice is breaking. Right now, I am audible to you guys. Okay, all right. So this is how we load the data last time. Okay. Okay, what I need to repeat once again. Okay, nothing is there. What I will say that usually in the company, it won't be there that directly the data is available to you. No, in the company, what they will say that, you know what, my data is stored in my database. Mark this word database, guys, uh, and uh, and try to learn that subject. That is a different subject. 
uh, today we will discuss only power bi so i will not go in depth in that subject so usually database uh, is there to store our data and in the database we can store a large amount of data so you can uh, do some research on sql server management studio database is there so here i can my data is here inside my database so this is my database is there okay inside that suppose i have used company 11 in that tables in that what employee table i have seen that so let me click here in the employee table select top 100 rows so guys this is my data guys this is my data which is stored in the database uh, and the client will say that you know what here my data is there you can use this data so how uh, i just connected with database power bi with this and the same data i have taken from here getting it guys okay fine so in the last classes we have seen that how we can create a different graphs are there okay so how we can create a graphs suppose pie chart i need to create a pie chart so how i can create a pie chart just click on this pie chart option and suppose from the orders tables only orders tables pie chart so i want to see that region wise what is my profit suppose what is my profit wise it shows me the profit is there like that how to create a chart any questions here how to create a chart and all that guys i hope everyone has been cleared and do the practice of this okay my voice is breaking again i am not audible to you guys now i am audible now i am audible Okay, then. Okay, okay, fine. I will keep my voice pitch in this manner only so you are audible, uh, so you can hear me. Okay. All right, guys, this is how in the last class we have discussed that how to create a chart and all that thing. And I have given you the homework also. Tell me how many of you have able to do this task. In the last class, I told you how to create this. How many of you have tried this one? Okay, one student, they are saying, Bhagya also saying, yes, you have done this task? Okay, all right. Okay, it's good that you have done this task. So this is how, how to create it in the last class. I have shown you that task, okay? Now, the thing is that, uh, <clears throat> Okay, in Power BI, we have the other options also. If I want to create some advanced visualizations options, apart from this, apart from this, I can create other visualizations options also. For that, we have some, uh, some options is there in Power BI. How to create the uh, some advanced visualization. So how I can uh, go here, Power Automated, get more visuals options. Apart from this, apart from this visualization, if you want to create some other visualizations also, okay? So let me click here, get more visuals options over here. Let me click it and let me click here, get more visuals options. So guys, what I can say that I can create these visualizations also. This, this visualizations we can create it. For example, let me tell you about animated bar chart. Let me click here, animated bar chart. Search, let me click here, animated bar chart. Hmm. 
एनिमेटेड बार चार्ट लेट मी क्लिक हिअर and let me click here add option animated bar chart you can see that this animated bar chart has been added over here apart from this visualization if i want more visualization i can use here get more visuals options now uh, this time let me click here animated bar chart option over here okay let me see that now suppose i want to see that what are my sales uh, versus sub categories okay sales versus sub category let me show you the table also hmm. this is my table guys sample super store okay first of all before creating any visualization understand your data very well guys that is the very first step now i want to see that what are my sales over sub categories if i will say that sub categories so where yeah sub categories i am having if i will click over here in the sub categories option in the sub categories options so we have how many sub categories yeah these are the my sub categories are there so in this sub categories what are my sales okay suppose i want to see that how we can see it let me drag and drop here sub category versus sales i want to see that sub category drag and drop versus sales drag and drop sales over here and over different period means in which period i am having what sales are there so in the period let me drag and drop order date over here so you can see that guys this kind of visualizations also we can create this is the animated bar chart guys animated bar charts this is what somewhat fancy bar charts but yes we can draw it remove null values in excel okay uh, in the excel also options are there na now i am not audible to you guys i am not audible okay so this is what animated bar charts are there animated bar chart okay this is what suppose i want to create some other charts also suppose uh, these are the other options uh, suppose i want to create uh, let me see that what are the options are here this is the animated bar chart okay okay see uh, what i am doing guys these are the basic visualizations which are with me that is bar chart pie chart like that but apart from that if some more visualizations i need to create it apart from this i will go here in the get more visuals option let me go here get more visuals options over here and these are the visuals which we can create it apart from that explore it get more visuals options over here now suppose this time i am using word cloud word cloud and let me click here add option okay this visualization has successfully imported okay so i can see that this is the word cloud let me use the word cloud over here word cloud and 
right now let me want to see that which product sales is more which product sales is more i want to see that product where is my product product id product name yeah this is this is our product names which product sales is more i need to see that okay so here with the help of word cloud i can see that i want to see that which product sales more so what i will do that in the category i will drag product name product name and in the values i will drag sales sales also now can you tell me one thing which product sales more one hint i will give that more the font size more is the sale tell me which which product sales the highest here can you tell me copier okay copier okay copier is the highest uh, copier sale is 152186 so you are saying that copier okay apart from 52 uh, binding is 164 uh, apart from that tell me which product sales more binding chair okay let me see that chair yes chair sales is more the more the font size the more is the sale on okay let me see that on is not 150 only chair is the high chair is what 189 apart from that phone okay let me try the phone also where is the phone i think phone is not 157 only till now chair is the highest 189 apart from that copier copier is 152 only apart printer printer you are seeing 152 chair is the highest i think among that which product sales more okay so this is how i can rename it as a word cloud okay getting it guys so this is also also options okay these are the options guys how just mark down get more visuals options get more visuals options okay these are some of the options are there okay apart from that but you cannot access directly get more visuals for that you need to login in in the power bi service guys power bi service now what is this power bi service i will tell you the procedure how to login in the power bi service okay so let me open here power bi service for you power bi service login just go over here power bi service login and here power bi hmm. you need to create an account guys you need to create an account for that you need some official email address guys for that you need some official email address when i am saying that official email address for for example in the short you do power bi uh, in order to open the account in microsoft and in power bi service you need some official email address uh, for uh, in the short uh, your gmail.com yahoo.com it won't work over there you need to create some official email address so uh, uh, i am working 
in my organization they have given me official mail address but the question is that you don't have you are not working professionals right now you don't have any official email address so in that case what you can do guys i am telling you the procedure today follow this procedures to create the account just uh, click over here temp mail temp mail click here temp mail and you can use this whatever this account uh, they will generate for you you can use it right now they will generate some email address yes this email address you can use to create an account in power bi service okay right now i have already have my ha i am having my account so i can directly use it i have already logged in so see this is the power bi service guys this is the power bi service is there where i can publish my report for that i want an official email address official email address then only and how i can go to the power bi service just click here power bi service login in that click here so after that they uh, again let me click here power bi service and like that you need to create and use another account suppose like that so you need to create an account over here let me click it this is here they will ask you the email address email address they will ask you so uh, you can use whatever the email address like that from here temp id this email address has been generated you can click over here and paste it and then do the next options like that you can do it. getting it guys i am already having login so i will not show, uh, do that if anybody want to share their screen they can share it i can show you how to create an account in power bi service right now my account is already been created and i have already logged in how i can say that see here my email address is there in right now you don't have anything those who have installed power bi service uh, power bi desktop i have already have sign in in power bi service and this is the mail id okay but you can't you need to uh, create an account in power bi service first password they are asking okay for password use this one here only in the temp mail this is the password Mm, yeah it will generate right now sender just wait for that they will generate the password also here only wait for that they will generate it or let me again refresh it or let me use another one temp mail from here they will generate the password for you temp mail side guys temp mail go here temp mail and once they will uh, give the email address then they will uh, generate the password also with you for this okay once again i need to explain it i am saying that how to create uh, the account in power bi service how i you can create it you can go here microsoft sign in suppose this is the id suppose let me copy it i have already sign in i don't need that i just want to show you okay click here on the next the username may be incorrect make sure can't access your account sign in in options are there because i am already having sign in so that's why it is not showing me i have already created my account so that's why let me show you where, where i am having some ppt or not in that how to create account in power bi service hmm.
Mm, okay, I will share that PPT also. If anybody wants to share, I am already having login now. So that's why I can't able to show you. The, the very next procedure is that go here, Power BI sign in, open one new tab, Power BI sign in. Power BI. Sign in. Power BI sign in in this tab, click here. Sign in into your account. You can click anywhere. And like that, use another account. I'm already having login it. If anybody wants to share their screen, they can share it. I will show you. Or you can click here, Power BI service. Power BI service uh, on this tab also, you can click here. Anything you can do that. Again, the same page is opening again and again. So here you need to create one account in the Microsoft. For that, you need some official email address. If you have your official email address, you can use that. Otherwise, I'm already having the account. That's why. Otherwise, this temp mail option is there. There you can uh, again refresh it here. Yeah. This temp mail option will be there. They will uh, give you the email address and password also. Like that, they will give you email address and password. From that, you can sign in. And here in the sign in to your Power BI, your account. Like that also, you can click it here. Again, this kind of page will be coming. Use uh, use account uh, another account options over there and just use that mail ID temp mail ID you can use it temp mail IDs whatever the email address they are asking just sign in then you can able to use Power BI service guys if you are able to log in uh, yeah that's why that permission is not there but I am telling you this procedure follow it okay you will able to see that. Once you will log in in Power BI service, your name will come over here. Your name will going to be come over here. That means that now you are eligible to use these options also, get more visuals options also. And you can, uh, means uh, you can go in the, I will say that Power BI service also you can use. Right now you are using only Power BI desktop. For Power BI service, compulsorily you need to create a, uh, to create a Microsoft account and sign in in Power BI service. Then only you, you can use Power BI service options. Getting it guys? Do that to it. This is the task for you. See that how you can able to log in in Power BI service. Okay? That is a task for you. I have shown you the procedure. Do that please. Okay. All right guys. Hmm. So this is the options like the animated bar chart, word cloud is there. Suppose these are, suppose uh, I can create some another options also, charts also. He, even, uh, let me show you. Hmm, okay. Suppose I have created this charts, suppose Power BI, and uh, I uh, I want to publish it, I want to publish the report. How I can publish the report, guys, in Power BI service? Uh, let me show you, let me create some visualiz visualizations for you, guys. Let me use some visualization, stack column chart, subcategories versus. Subcategory versus sales. This is the, my stack column chart is there. Let me create one visualization. Let me create again. Donut chart, donut chart, segment versus, 
I will say that profit, which segment having highest profit. Let me create some visualizations. Hmm. Like this. Again. This kind of visualization. Okay. Let me copy this one, this chart also. Control C, Control V over here. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. Control C, Control V. Why it is not copying? There is a, some problem in my machine. Hmm. Yes, it is coming. So many times. There is a problem in my machine actually. Okay. Control Z. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. There is a problem in my machine. That's why. Okay, one time, yeah, now it is done. Only one time it is coming. I can copy, just copy paste. Okay. Uh, let me remove it. Huh. Okay, again, let me try to just copy paste. I want to create one report and publish it in Power BI service. Basically, that I want to show you how to do that. Or here also, you can create it. Word cloud. Simple word cloud. You can create it. I am just showing you. That is subcategory versus sales. Okay, this is one another chart. I have created it. Okay. And suppose I can use this. Here also, I can use state versus sales. State versus sales, I can create it. It won't make any sense. Remove it. Again, let me use it. Let me create some visualizations. Let me use it. State versus sales won't make any sense over here right now. Even wait. Uh, I they will provide you the. The host will provide you that link. Okay, let me use some matrix table also over here. I want to see that subcategory wise. What are my sales? What are my profit? Or subcategory is not like that. Let me use that category only or segment wise. Segment wise. Segment wise, what are my sales and profit? Okay, so this is, or let me convert it into table only. Table only, yeah, it will find. Table only, table wise, let me create some basic visualizations. Okay, 
like that. Now let me use some Mm -hmm. Here, let me use some filters also over here. Filter option over here. Filter. And in the filter, let me use category wise. I am having three categories in that filter wise. In the furniture. Like that. And I let me use some cards also over here. The cards options here. Cards. Uh, let me use profit. Uh, again, let me use some card over here again. Okay. Let me use here again card. Profit. Let me click here the sales. And quantity also. Cards. And quantity also. Okay, like that cards I have used. Okay. This is the chart which I have created right now. Okay. This is the chart which we have created right now. And these are the cards. Now, suppose, and let me give the name here also. Let me rename it. Rename. I will like to rename it as a 23rd March. 23rd March report. And right now, this is my report view. This is my report, guys. This is not a dashboard. Now, if I want to make it as a dashboard, how I will do that? I will click here, here in the publish. Let me click option. And they will ask you, do you want to save the changes? I will say that, save it. And they will ask me, what the name you want to save it? I will say that 23rd. Mark report city Bangalore. Suppose this is the Bangalore report. I am saving it. Where I am saving it, it is showing me the complete path. C drive user Ankita desktop in that Power BI folder is there where this report will going to be saved. I will say here save it. Now you can see that now here. In the Power BI publish, Power BI service where I want to publish this report. So I will click here my workspace here and let me click here select option. My report has been published successfully. Okay, this is the report guys. This is not a dashboard. How to make a dashboard I will show you today. So I will click over here and I will click here Power BI service. So this is the there, I, I, I need to click over here. And I came here in the Power BI service guys. How I can use a Power BI service option? I need to create an account first. So already I have created an account, so like that. So you can see that. Now I want to see that in my workspace, where is that report is there? Where is that report? Now you can see that guys, right now in front of you only, I have given the report name 23rd March report Bangalore. In front of you only, I have given it. And this is my report name. This is my report name guys. 23rd March report Bangalore. And in the Power BI service also, in the My Workspace, in the My Workspace option, you can see that 23rd March report Bangalore. This is the report guys. This is not right now the dashboard. This is the report. Okay. Now 
I will say that how you can see that here the type is report guys. This is the report guys. Okay. Along with the report, this is the data set is also coming. Right now, I am talking about report only guys, not dashboard. Dashboard is yet to create. Report is there. Only that's what I am saying. And here you can see that report is there. Now, uh, I have only published the report. Along with that, 23rd March report Bangalore. This is the data set guys. Along with the report, data set is also been published in Power BI service. Huh? This is the data guys. This is the data. Semantic model means data and, and this is the report. Now, from this, I need to create from this report, I need to make the dashboard. So, let me click over here the report. This is only the report which I have created here. This is my Power BI desktop, guys. In Power BI desktop, I have created one, two, three, four pages in that. But the same thing is come over here. The same thing come over here. Let me come here. Huh. One, two, three, four is there. Now, this is the report, guys. Clearly, report is there. Right now, this is not a dashboard. I want to prepare how I can. In fact, I can share my report with my colleagues also. Is that whatever is there, I can share it through this share option. But they should have the same mail address. Suppose I am working right now so in suppose Vipro. So I can share my report with some other, other colleagues who is working in Vipro. Whatever, suppose you are guys, your student. Whatever your college mail address is there, Suppose you all, all your college has given your mail address, everyone. Suppose your college name is, suppose Beats Pilani. So everyone name is there, whatever, Subhash Jain, uh, BeatsPilani.com or Ankit Shukla, BeatsPilani.com. You can share your report with that only, not some other person. You cannot share someone with having, a, suppose, mail address, suppose, Atkins. Some uh, suppose some work uh, your friend is there who is working in Atkins and you having a mail address of Beats Pilani, you cannot share it. Okay, within the organization, you can share it. Now, this is the report, guys. How I can make this uh, dashboard from this report? What I will do, I will click here three dots options, three dots options, and here subscribe, uh, oh, pin to dashboard option, pin to dashboard, pin to dashboard. And I will say that pin to dashboard and I will say that create one new dashboard. New dashboard and what name you need to create? I will give the name as dashboard. Dashboard. 23rd March. Bangalore. This is how I will create a dashboard. This is there and then pin live. Go to dashboard option. Now, guys, this is my dashboard. This is my dashboard. Now, how you will say that this is your dashboard, which is your report, which is your data, you will say that I don't know. All look same only. Report and dashboard are look same. How you will categorize that? Again, go to your my workspace option. My workspace option. Now, you can see here. Whatever you have generated, I am working in Power BI since very long daily basis. I am creating a reports and all that. So all is there. Okay. Now, right now in front of you, I have created 23rd March report Bangalore. This is purely a report along with the report. This is the data set. Now you can see that dashboard 23 March Bangalore. And you can see that this is my dashboard guys. Report semantic model means your data. And this is the dashboard. Now, anyone will say that what is the difference between report and dashboard? Let me click here again on the dashboard. I will say that here the more clarity will be there. Your font size, everything will be more clarity will be there. The dashboard is there. So, and you can again share your dashboard with any person. Share it. And you can write the email address from there. And you can share them with that. Are you getting it, guys? How to create the Power BI service? How to use Power BI service? How to publish the report? How to create a dashboard? Please tell me, guys.
This is important. Please tell me. Today your task is that after this session, see some videos also, how to create a account in Microsoft or how to do sign in Power BI service. That is your today's task, guys. Everyone, please do that. Any questions till now? Please ask me. If you have any questions, please tell me, guys. Today, it is your task, guys, how to publish, how to create Microsoft account, how to sign in Power BI service, and how to publish that whatever the report you have generated. This all is called as report only, guys, because see, it is a report view. This is called as report. This is not a dashboard. In Power BI service, you can make a dashboard. Okay. Okay. I need to explain you from once again. Okay. Let me create one more report for you. Let me use some charts. Let me create one report for you. Yeah, let me create once again for you. Line chart, simple line chart. Order date versus category. Hmm. Suppose this one, in which date? I am having what are my, uh, is there category? Suppose I have created this one report, one, one visualization. Let me use some donut chart also. In the donut chart, I will say that category wise, what are my sales? What is my profit? Hmm. Profit. And suppose let me create uh, again some uh, one table. Let me create one table in which I will say that category wise, what is my quantity of sale and what uh, what is my profit? Okay, this table I have created just to show you. Now let me give the report name. Suppose rename is at 24th March like that. This is the page name. And what I will do again, I will create, create here, publish, save the changes, save it. In my workspace, click here, my workspace, then select. They are saying that already you have a data set name. Is that so? I will say that replace it because I have made the changes. So I will say that replace it because this report is already published there. So I will say that just replace it and this new page will going to be come. Now it is saying that it is published successfully. Let me click here. Got it. How I will go in Power BI service? In Power BI service, I can go here. Here. Power BI service. Suppose here again, I will click over here. Directly, I can go here in Power BI service. And where you need to go, guys? Where you need to go here? In my workspace. In the my workspace, or whatever you have created, it will be there. 
So right now, 23rd March, report Bangalore. What is that? This is the there, guys. This is there. See, 23rd March, report Bangalore is there. So let me come over here. 23rd March, 23rd March, report Bangalore. Along with that, this data set is there. Let me again click over here. Hmm. Right now, in front of you, I have created 24th March. Okay. So again, I want this visualization in the in the dashboard. So I what I will do that here in the more options, I will go here. Then pin to dashboard. This is the dashboard, guys. 24th March. I want to publish it. It will say that where you want to pub, pin that. I will say that in the existing report, so many report in the existing dashboard, so many dashboard is there. So I will say that this is my dashboard in this publishing. 24th March and pin line. Go to dashboards. And now this is my dashboard, guys. See, this is my dashboard. Right now, here only I have created this. This is the dashboard. Are you getting it, guys? Please tell me. Getting it. So today that is your task guys, Power BI service, how to log in in Power BI service and like that create some dashboard guys. That is your today's task. And those who have completed this homework, this homework, they need to publish it and create a dashboard. This is the report guys, but you need to make the dashboard of that report. That is your today's task. Getting it. Okay then guys, till now any questions from your end? Till now any questions from your end? Okay. Alright guys, do this task for today and we will take in the next session. If you have any questions, then ask me. Feedback link will be providing by the uh, host only. Okay, all right, guys. Feed just wait for five minutes. Uh, your host will provide you the feedback link. Okay. And this is your today's task, guys. Make a dashboard from it. Uh, which project I need to explain? Supermarket analysis. Project process, uh, which project you are doing, guys? Uh, see, uh, actually, Harsha has messaged me. See, I don't know, Harsha, who is the coordinator of your project? You can ask them if you are facing these issues. Na, ask them who is the coordinator. Uh, for that, Khalid, I will take one session. Uh, how to do a machine learning project. Na, end to end one day session I will take and I will explain you completely how to do that. Okay. Right now we are just dealing with Power BI. For that, I will take one session. Okay. Okay. Apart from that, any questions from your end, guys? Uh, those who have the doubts related to the project registration and all that, 
meet with your project uh, uh, that uh, who is the counselor, project coordinator or counselor, they will address you. Uh, yeah, health insurance is ma machine learning. Yeah, uh, Fatima, I will do that. I will take one day separate session on that. Uh, see, I also don't have Harsha directly connected with them. I need to ask uh, the host also how to overcome, uh, but uh, or raise this issue. Uh, connect with your uh, HOD in your college. Maybe they can solve you this problem because I also don't know who is your project coordinator. So meet with the HOD also regarding this. I think they are the better person to solve this. Okay. Um, yeah, yes, guys. One day, Anish, I will take one session separately. And I will explain you end to end data analytics project what is required. I will explain you. Uh, feedback uh, will provide by the host only. Yeah, wait for guys a uh, few minutes, they will provide you the feedback. Here. Uh, okay, guys, uh, today they will provide you a feedback link. Just wait for a few minutes, they will provide you. Okay? If you have any questions, then please ask me, guys. Related to Power BI. Manoj, I will uh, supermarket uh, analysis, sales analysis means you want to create this kind of report you are asking. <coughs> Feedback link is provided to you guys. Just uh, uh, just uh, access, uh, provide the feedback. Uh, Manoj, I will take one day one session. See, uh, means how to do a project and all that. For that complete one hour session, I need to take it. Then only in a proper way, I can take it. Feedback link is provided to you guys. Just go through that and one day I will take one separate session on how to do any project.
Yeah, all right, guys. Thank you very much. And we'll connect you in the next weekend also. And uh, I will try to take one session on how to do the projects. Okay, bye. Bye, everyone, guys. Bye. Thank you.